Hey y'all, I have an acorn squash here and this is what we're gonna be working with. Um, this is a one on the larger side. Like with all of these winter squashes as they're called, the biggest issue to get around is the really tough exterior of their skin. That's what allows them to be so durable through the winter, but it's also kind of a pain in the butt. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a knife that is nicely sharp. And I'm gonna cut off the bottom, working around and you know, you wanna, you wanna have force behind it, but you also need to be careful because you don't wanna hurt yourself. Same thing with the top, like I wanna get rid of that. Um, you know, how much of the top you cut off is up to you. So I could slice down, but I can see with this one that I might lose a fair amount of the top. So instead, what I actually am gonna do is, now that I have a flat surface here, and I can actually kind of stand it on that top, I'm gonna cut down the middle. And go ahead and expose. And take a couple wax there, being careful. And now I've got that opened up. So I have the insides I have to deal with. Trusty spoon, nothing terribly complicated. Just scooping out insides. You can't see me doing this part because I'm doing it over the trash. But just continuing to scrape out some, most of the stringy bits much as I can and the seeds. Now you could keep the seeds, you could put them in a colander over the stove or over the sink rather and uh, run water through it and go ahead and like rinse the seeds off and then roast them. You could definitely use them for that, I've done that in the past. All right, I'm gonna leave this side for later. Now I've got the one half done. So again, we've got this rough outer exterior. There are a couple of different ways that you could tackle it. If you have a really good vegetable peeler, that can work. Um, we'll see, we'll see the, how good this one is today. If you wanna do that, but yeah, you see, like that's kind of rough, right? Because that's just a, you know, as I said, it's a thick skin. So it's not, peeling is not really the best option. So your knife is gonna be the best call. What I like to do is continue to cut this into slightly more manageable chunks. And then from there, figure out, okay, what angle can I get to then go down the edge with my knife blade. And with this, because of the kind of like bumpiness, you more than likely are gonna lose a fair amount of, um, of those kind of bumpy edges, that flesh edge. If anyone out there has a more effective way of cutting this and, and removing that skin, I'd love to hear it. Um, oftentimes with things like acorn squash, you'll actually see that it's cooked with the, um, with the skin still on. So like I'd scoop all this stuff out and then put something in there and roast it like this. So you kind of avoid having to remove the skin. However, in this recipe that we're gonna use this for, or the recipes we're gonna use it for here, you know, sometimes you do want to, um, to actually remove that. I'm gonna switch to a slightly smaller knife to see if I can reserve some of that without having to completely cut it off. But it's not really working, so instead what I'm gonna have to do is that actually just cut that. So, got this clean. Now it kinda just looks like regular butternut squash. Um, do what I can to get rid of that last little bit. So as you can see, it's not, it's not necessarily the easiest squash to work with. If your grocery store sells it already pre-cubed, that can be a place that you can buy yourself a lot of time and it's really easy and wonderful. Uh, sometimes we might do it where, yeah, what I would do is I would just have you, um, you know, take all this stuff out of the middle like we did in the beginning. Just scoop everything out. And uh, I'd even clean up more of this kind of stringy stuff. And then have you just um, stuff it. And you can put, fill it here with meat and things and throw it in the oven. So that's, that would be another way that we would utilize our butternut squash. But once you have this, I'm sorry, I said butternut squash, I meant acorn squash. Once you have this piece clean of all the skin, then from there it's just pretty easy. You can just cut it in, you know, strips like that and then cut it in cubes. You know, once you've got it kinda, um, that first step done, then it's just normal sort of knife skills from there. So that's it on acorn squash. I'm gonna keep trying to tackle the rest of this. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.